Hi, if you want to subscribe to my channel, all you need to do is press the subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications about when my next video comes out, just press that little bell on the side of the subscribe button. And you'll get to be the very first person to get the notifications when my videos are out. Hello everybody, Creative Crafts here and I'm Kathy, if you don't know already. Today I'm going to make a floating coffee pot over a glass pouring coffee coffee down. I made one about with the flowers, the floating teacup. There's a few things you'll need. I got one of these. This is the thing you use to make um don't remember that what they call them in English. Um the shish kebab uh sticks here. It's pretty stable, strong, and I needed something that I know that it could hold this teapot inside this teacup. So you need a nice teacup set. I'm going to use this whole thing to make it more stable. Paint, your trusty glue gun, and you need coffee beans. You definitely need coffee beans. First you need to glue these three things together. Gotta wait until this gets hot. I think it already is. Do I have another? Yeah, there's another glue stick here. Yes, I know. They look so nice. It's too bad I'm wasting them. But it's not a waste once you fix it up. So what you could do is you put the glue It's not really that hot But these stick pretty well, the glue onto the Make sure they're clean I don't think this is going to stick No, it really doesn't stick Damn it I have to stick it See, that's what I'm saying You have to make sure I was made a mistake don't do that, what I just did. Now I see that I have to put it here. It should have looked before. So now it should stick fine with no problem. Tip it. And then stick it. Make sure that it's centered pretty much. Then you have to do the same thing for the glass. Make sure there's no dust in it. I'm doing the same thing with this. And then you stick that on here like that. Like I said, suggested before, when you have glue bubbles everywhere, if you want it to look more neater, take a brush or a stick and then rub it down a little bit. So. That's pretty stuck on. So the next step is I gotta glue this cover back on. That's what I gotta do first. Bought this at the antique shop. I think I paid, I don't know how much, um, probably the 50 cents or a dollar. It was very cheap. Let that cool a little bit. Because you need the cover to be able to work. So you gotta wait a minute. While I'm waiting, what we could do, the next step is you get your shish kebab wire, make sure it's strong. You can use a fork or, a, well, a fork I would suggest better than a spoon, but you have to get something that's, um, you know, that 
will hold it. It's not going to be that heavy. It shouldn't be. So the next step while we're waiting for this to dry is put glue on this part, bend it like in a curve that matches with the teacup. See that sticks out too much? So I have to bend it back. Let me bend it down a little bit further. Yeah, that's better. You see that how it's like this? It's not sticking out like this. It's right against the cup. Make sure you have it exactly against the cup like this. And then you take your tea thing, tin, or that and see what it looks like. This is how you want it. If you think that it needs to be pulled in more, you can pull it in more so that it actually looks like it's pouring out. But you don't want it totally straight because when you're pouring it doesn't look straight anyway. So what you're going to do now is stick, I would stick glue here on the bottom first. So once the glue dries, you have like here, see this, this is still too crooked for me so I'm going to take this off and we need to try to bend it. I should have played with it first to see how it looked. Yeah, that's better. Oh, it's still down. I mean, once it dries, you can still do the same. You can fix it later. Let's, let's keep it like that. I think that's fine how it is. Because you're going to stick glue on here anyway. I suggest to stick an extra coat on it now because I took it off already. So we just want this to stick pretty good. I'm going to stick some behind here so that it sticks to the cup. And now you definitely need to wait until that totally cools. Oh, that didn't stick. I'm going to have to use something else. You can tell how old it is. hold it. You need to get a little aluminum foil or tin foil, the olden days what we used to call it. And you need to make it, you don't want to fill this up with the coffee beans and glue. You don't want to waste all that. So what I suggest you to do is use some tin foil. I need a lot more, that's not enough. Take the other piece I just used, got and try to make it rounded so that it fits directly in the cup. Like I said, try not to put too much pressure on it. You don't want to put too much pressure on it. So, and then when you're done, after that, you know that it's cool and stuck. What you could do is now is put some glue on top of here. You're not putting the coffee beans in it yet. You have to wait with that. So what I would just suggest is just put this on top. Wait till some of it cools, and then put another coat. Then go crazy on the top. It's 
to wet the glue when it heats up a little bit more again. Wait a few minutes. It's pretty stuck good. If it's still crooked here in this area, you can fix it, but try not to pull it against the cup. Take your hand on one end or, or a pair of pliers and bend it. Hold it on one end and bend it with your hand with the other end so that you're not bending it with the, with the cup because you'll break it. So be careful about that. <clears throat> this pot will probably take a little bit longer. And now while I'm at that, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna connect this little thing back onto here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some electrical tape and stick ar around he on around this on one side here and on around this. Maybe it'll stick then. It's smaller. I don't want it, no one to see that. I don't have to stick it all the way around, but I'm sure this will stick to here pretty well. So I'm going to stick some tape here. Because I need something for the glue to grab onto. And it doesn't grab onto this um, tin. I think that's, not sure what it is. I think it's tin. It's copper, maybe. It's copper. So what I need to do now is find a, a way to do this. And I said, you know what, I need some tape. Tape should let it stick. Let's hope it does. Then what I'll do is I'll probably stick then something else on it. So let's see how this one works. So this goes here. sure it's straight and I'm going to stick glue all around it just in case. So while that is cooling off I need to fill up this a little bit more still. You can see that there's sides here need it. You don't want to make it perfect. You just want to make sure the tin foil is actually covered. You'll cover it later. And make sure this pot is covered pretty well too. So. I think that's pretty much it for now. As soon as this is cooled here, you want to take some paint and Try to make it a coffee color. I have white and brown here and mix that so you can have like a nice, uh, looks like there's coffee in the cup. So I'm going to do that first. Usually it takes a little bit for you to get all this done. It takes a while because you got to wait for the glue. You have to wait for the glue, not gotta, you have to wait for the glue. Me and my English. So we just put this aside now and wait. And I'm hoping that this works. Because now that the tape is on there, it should be fine. I have some copper paint. Maybe I can just paint over it so you don't notice that. But the next step is coming up. After we finish with this, I have some coffee beans. They're fresh. Can't wait. Gotta open it up. I love the smell of fresh coffee beans. Mm. Very nice. Very nice coffee beans. So let's do this. We're gonna wait, and then we go to the next step. So what we're going to do now is, after we get the color we want, most likely it will probably dry darker, we need to put a little bit of foil here on this area. So what we do is probably fold it here and put it around it. Let's 
exactly like that. Make it tight. You don't want it too. Um, you don't want it too big because it's supposed to look like the coffee pouring down. So now that we did this, we need to glue that. And I see that there's still some places here with the foil showing. We don't want that. I thought the next step would be painting, but I realized we had to put foil on the stick too. So make sure you put the foil on it, not too um, thick, thin enough. And now we need to put glue on it. All around the whole thing. Just make sure you don't get your fingers. Try not to let it drip on, on one area. You can always pull it off most likely. I do it like this. Don't let it do what I just did. Just pull it down. Don't let it just glue on it. Pull it down too at the same time because you want it to be like this. You don't want it to drip. Just go right against it. Right against it with the head of the glue gun. That should pre prevent it from um, dripping. You don't want it to drip. You just want a light coat on it. So while you pull the glue gun to put the glue out, rub against the foil with the glue gun. So that it doesn't drip like I just, what happened to me when I first started. Very important. Make sure that there's, you don't get any dripples on it. You don't want that, so. So. I don't want to have any of that sticking around like that. So I end up getting a piece of glue on here, drip down. We don't want that to be dripping. So that looks good. Wait for that part to dry. Like I said, when you put the glue on this part, you need to take the glue gun and put it right against it like this and put the glue on it. It's not, nothing's gonna happen to the glue gun. Because that will prevent it from dripping. If you have too big, too big of clumps on it, it will drip down and then you'll have a big mess here. So I suggest take the glue gun really close to the foil and rub while you're pouring it on there. Don't put too much, just put enough so that when you paint it, it doesn't have that um, aluminum foil look. You want it to be flat like this. You see how flat that is now? So, and this is what you want. You're st I'm still gonna put coffee beans on top of here and glue them, but you don't wanna still see in between aluminum foil, so you don't want that. Right, a little bit here in the back. Make sure there's no another that um, what do you call it that glue the glue gun how it makes these little uh, hair hair I think hairs glue hairs maybe that's what you call it make sure there's none hanging around because when you're painting it's gonna get stick to the to the uh, paintbrush so while that is cooling I could probably take my paint and stop painting so um, and it's still not dark enough I need a little bit more. I should have just used this, but you need to add paint. This is for mixing colors. So you can't just use it as a paint. Well, we can try this and see what happens. <clears throat> Make sure it's good. When you're painting, I suggest try not to get on the cup. Just get on top of the glue.
let it dry and we go to the next step. So actually the thing that I put here actually didn't work like I thought it would. Might have to put something here. Maybe I'll just glue some leaves onto it like I cut off here. Maybe just a few. That's for another project. You know what I mean? Stick them in between here and just like let it glue all around it maybe. Ah. So this is still wet. While it's still drying, I can see how I'm going to put my tin here. That's how it's going to look. So what I want to do is I'll probably just stick the glue inside here. And then stick it in like that. It's still kind of wet. Problem is, I might have to use some of that black electrical tape around it in one area because, um, I, like I said, it wouldn't stick, the glue wouldn't stick onto this, so I'm going to have to do that. So what I'm going to do is, while it's still, maybe I should just go up this way instead, like this, and try to go over. It's still wet and try to connect the two pieces of tape together onto the teapot that you have well not two pieces that one piece as long as you get some this is kind of heavy still so once you get the coffee in there it shouldn't be so heavy this pot area because you're not going to really put anything in here if you think it's too much what you could do is like I said can bend it a little bit just make sure you don't do too much because you don't want to have the cup crack so and, and this looks fine I think like this so now that I did that what I could do now is add the glue here onto the both pots so it sticks well kind of crooked. I'm going to have to fix that, damn it. I don't want to, it's wet here, so, you know, no, I don't want to use that either right now. I should have done this before. All right, it's still kind of wet, so I'm just going to, it's not what I want. Like I said, try not to do everything all at once. Make sure you get everything prepared the way you want it. seems to take a little longer to cool. That's okay. Little pots that you see that it, my fingerprints on it now, paint all over the place. Just repaint over it. So now while we're waiting for this to dry, I'll prepare for the next step. As you can see here, I glued some flowers on here. I think it looks great. I had to do that. You don't have to. I had put the tape and I didn't want the people to see the tape. So it's this is pretty much dried except for up here. So we can probably start working down here. So what I would do is grab a handful of coffee beans, put them aside next to where the area that you need to go and I would just take my trusty old glue gun need some more glue where are you put 
put it in. Wait. Oh, I can't get it out now. Damn it. All right. Fine. So, and then you just go gradually around it. Make a little bit. Don't put too much because you don't want to have the glue showing up. So what you do is put the coffee beans inside there. Cover. You can go like this if you want. Make sure they're glued. Make sure they're all stuck to the glue because you don't want... What you could do is glue one by one in the back and stick it there. Or you can just take the glue and go like this. Take, put a drop on it. Because you don't want to put too much glue. The purpose of us painting it is so you don't see the glue. So... And you just keep going all the way around. You can glue coffee bean on top of coffee bean, but use very little glue. Don't use too much glue. You don't want the glue to be seen. So you try to put some upright and put some down. So let's do this. Like I said, very little. This one. much a little bit full towards the middle here a little bit full so it looks like it's pouring down and filling up in here like a little hill upward so you need to make sure you put enough beans here in the middle so you may think why'd you paint it if you're covering up believe me when you're done with it and you have it sitting in the light a bright light You'll see in between areas, and then you'll just see the brown. You won't see, you know, the, 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 like the misty color of the glue. So we don't want that. So like I said, make sure you just fill it up, those little areas, that you can notice it's a big gap in it. And like I said, when you're done with that, you need to start filling up. Like, make this from, from here, I'll, show, I'll do it, from here up, make it a little bit thicker so that it look, you can see that it's pouring down. So I'm going to just stick some here in the back. Watch out for your fingers, you don't burn them. Because going on, gluing on here is going to be a little bit more difficult than um, gluing it in the cup. So... That part will take a, a little bit of a process. 
So just like I said, make sure you fill it up. So you, we did the bottom. The next step is to prepare this area. Um, like I said, you want to have like a little pile here going on. So you just take a whole bunch of the coffee beans and start gluing massively in this corner on top of each other. If you don't, if your fingers are too big when you do this, what you could do is um, use tweezers. You can use the tweezers, that helps too. So as you can see here, the teapot was a little too heavy. That's what I was talking about. So what I have to do right now, um, plus the inside of here was is way too um, smooth. So I recommend before you do any of this, stick some tape on it. I use this electrical tape because um, it sticks to anything. You don't want to just use any kind of tape. If you use um, masking tape, most likely it won't stick to the surface very well. So I recommend that you use some kind of electrical tape on it so that it sticks better. Me and my unbelievable, I can't believe that sitting there rendering my, not rendering, making my videos on my computer and all of a sudden you hear Boof. Then you look and you see that the whole thing came out of the cup. That's could be because of the fact the cup is too um, smooth. The other one I made it didn't do that because of the fact 
it was only flowers in a small little teacup, so it wasn't really heavy. This is heavy. You need more, more protection or more help. So here we go again. Let's put some glue everywhere. I'm hoping it works this time. So this one. Make sure you put it in the place that you had it before. Hold it down. It should work. My poor thing. This, it should be fine now. I should have said that before. I should have realized that. So, none of this looks like it's broken. Just my teapot, for some reason, is a little crooked. So I'm just going to try to stick some more tape on here. I really don't want anything to happen to it. So I'm going to stick maybe two little pieces and then I'm just going to stick glue on it. Just wish it wasn't so heavy. It shouldn't have been so heavy. I think I should have put a brick inside there. Well, then I recommend that. Put some kind of a stones on the bottom and then put um, everything else on it. I mean, it'll be, it'll be fine. It's not so bad. I could always stick some stuff on here on the bottom. I can look for some rocks or whatever that's in funny shapes and then uh, paint them as cookies and put them on the bottom. I can do that too. Make sure all those the glue pieces, you know, like these little pieces here, make sure they're all off before you start painting it. There's always some here on the side. The cup is still kind of warm from the glue that I just did. You can use tweezers if you want to check it up. Now make sure that, um, So now that I fix this again, let's start gluing it, the rest on it. I've done all that I want, or how I want it. 
I'm thinking about maybe adding some more beans. And they're not really that heavy, so it doesn't help. Like I said before, look in areas where you see that you can still see the brown color from the glue that you repainted and just try to cover the big areas only. <clears throat> coffee beans and then stick them in there make sure they're stuck sticking there pretty good stucking pretty good sticking pretty good I think I've been too far away from the states I'm starting to speak wrong or saying words incorrectly or adding words to it that don't really mean anything Don't worry about this area here. I will put something around it. Probably a ribbon or something. So, we're in the final step. Hi, baby. It's good, yeah? So, we're in the final step. Um, I decided I wanted to cover this area where I put the tape. Because it doesn't really look very nice. So, and I don't want to put the coffee beans all the way up. That's still what they're supposed to look like. There's a spout. So that's what I have to try to make now. So let's see if this sticks to it. Just got to glue usually one end. What I'm going to do is use the brush to pull it, push it down. And just wait until that's cooled. So now you take the string and I would go all the way around several times so you know that it's um, you don't see the black of the you want it to look like there the coffee's coming out of the spout so this is what I suggest that you do if you use tape like I did if you don't have to, like I said, you could use a children's tea pot or coffee pot that you can buy in the children's section. You can buy that and paint it into a color you want. It's much lighter than what I have here. 
but it still works out. See how the pot right here now, it's starting to get a little bigger, this area, which this is what I was hoping. So, and I want to try to make this area a little bit thicker than the coffee beans, so I'll go around another time, make sure it's tight. I was going to put a ribbon there, but I didn't think that would look good, so I decided to do this. Keep rubbing until you know you, all the shreds from the walk, the cable I just used are not poking out with the glue. There you go. Your floating coffee pot. I don't know if it's close enough for you to see. how you want it to look so the, the handle is here so you can see it. I think it looks nice. I'm not sure if the coffee beans would look good inside it. Throw some here. Like I said, make sure you go around, even if you have to use tweezers for any kind of uh, loose glue pieces, you know, the shreds that come out of the glue gun, little thread looking things, make sure those are all off. You can take a cloth, wipe it down on the, from the sides. From here, you can put tweezers. If you want to put more coffee beans, you can. You can put as many as you want. As long as you have it looking like that it's pouring down here and it's pretty big here and then it's flatter on the sides. You don't want it to look like the coffee's just black. You want it to look like, you know, that's actually pouring like it is here. So and this is how you make a floating coffee pot. You can use anything. You can uh, make use a uh, big glass and stick a fork, glue a fork to it and then add uh, an old cotton of milk. Clean it thoroughly. They have these small ones. Or you can find one of those little um, pourers for milk. Maybe I'll do that next. Something for like little kids. For who likes cookies and milk. I think I'm gonna do that. I don't know if I should leave the coffee beans in it or should I take them out? Thing still works. I'm not sure. We're not done yet. So now the last stage is you want to paint some of the coffee beans. The I don't know if you can see it. You'll see when I'm done. You know here in this area that where there's a line between it. Those areas you want to take some paint. I'm just going to take a very little. Yeah, that's 
put the plastic on it yet. I can probably use what's that there. Get a very, very small paintbrush. You don't want to put too much on it and then just lightly powder it with the color. You can use gold. But I decided to use something like this copper here because the the gold color kind of looks coppery on here. So like I said, very light. You don't want to put too much just on the front part of the bean. Try not to touch the other beans. pot is finished with a very small paintbrush I put a copper color right just you know very little bit make sure there's not tons of paint just a very light coat that's, excuse me that's why I use this and you go over each area you want them to have that color you just go over it lightly not too strong because you don't want it to look like color is dripping from the bean. You want it to look like it's, that's how it's supposed to look. It's natural. And like I said before, go through the whole thing. If you find any pieces of glue, um, little glue, glue strings, take a uh, pl tweezers, not pliers, tweezers, and take them all off. I have a few I have to take off. And this here needs a little bit more paint on the side here. This looks too plain. Like I said, very, very little. Don't put too much on it. And that's it. And that's your floating coffee pot. I put string on here like you noticed because the, the black tape that I put on there to hold it actually didn't, uh, I didn't want it to show so I had to put this rope on it. It looks pretty cute and I had to make sure that it's thick enough so that it looks like that it, the coffee beans are coming out of the coffee pot, not, you know, flowing around it. So this is how you do it. I think it looks great. I'll take a close-up picture and put it on um, the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Watch further for my new videos coming out. And I'm glad you came by. Bye. So everybody, I have a surprise for you. I decided that I'm gonna go live on Friday around 4 p.m our time and that'll be no 4 p.m. United States time that'll be 10 p.m. our time so I wanted to make sure this time I can um, get a hold of more people or a, one or let people know I didn't spread it around too much it's probably why there wasn't many uh, watchers on the video when I did it last Friday this Friday uh, what we're doing is you can do it with me I'll show you step by step if you have any questions you can write it right away and I can tell you what you need to do First thing you need is a stencil of something you want. I'm going to do my this deer head because I love deers. I love antlers. I love deers. I think they're wonderful creatures. And I'm going to use this. I think it, it's easier to work with because what I'm doing. The second thing you need is toilet paper rolls. Tons of them. They're about one inch wide cut. So, you need tons of these. I'm sure everybody has them. 
Oh, you have also a whole week to plan in ahead anyway, so. And then you need a canvas. A size that fits this perfectly or bigger. Mine is bigger. It's probably big as this table. It's a huge one. So I'm going to use this and make some other designs on it. Um, like I said, if you can use also do it on the small canvas. It's no problem. You need a glue gun and color. You need a glue gun and color. And you need a pencil. You got to cut all this out. I will show that to you also on the video, on the live video. And use this as a stencil for the size that you, because um, you're going to need this to help guide you into what to do with these. So it's going to be a huge surprise, but I hope it comes out. This is something that I never did before either. So I'm going to say, you know, let's do this. I'm going to do it live. So make sure you're here, 4 p.m. Boston time, online, and I'll be here waiting for you to help guide you to make a beautiful canvas painting out of toilet paper rolls. Tons and tons and tons and tons of toilet paper rolls. And I hope to see you there.